In this video, I'll go over two keyboard shortcuts, copying and renaming sheets. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. Here in my second spreadsheet, it's just a list of addresses and names. These are all random and they're not real people. Normally we can right click on the sheet tab and choose duplicate sheet. And now we see there's another sheet generated and Calc automatically names it with an underscore and a number after it. The keyboard shortcut to copy a sheet is to hold down the control key and left click on the tab and drag it into position. I move it to the very end and I release the mouse and the keyboard. Now we see that an extra sheet and actually two sheets have been created for me. These two sheets are identical and I really only wanted to create one sheet so I think this is unintended. It seems that what has happened was it copied two sheets next to each other instead of just the one that I selected. So that could be a bug which I just discovered. But anyways, if you experience the same problem with extra sheets created, we can go ahead and just delete it by right clicking and choose delete sheet. So that keyboard shortcut actually didn't save me any time at all because I had to do the extra step of deleting. But just to show you, if I copy one sheet at the end by using the control key and drag it over, this does work properly because it copied just one sheet instead of two for me. So in this case, it worked perfectly. Now the second keyboard shortcut is to rename the sheet. This comes in handy because now I have four addresses sheets and I really don't want it to be named like this. So all I have to do is hold down the Alt key and left click on the tab. This changes it to a selection and I can use my arrow keys to move my cursor into position. And now I renamed it properly to my liking, now press enter. Same thing with this sheet, I hold down Alt and left click. Then I'll rename and press enter. So that's it for today's quick tip. I think we just discovered a bug during my demonstration, but at least now you know what the workaround could be or what to avoid when you're trying to save time. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.